Hello there, Controversy Seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of raw news and analysis. Today, we're diving headfirst into a raw drama that'll leave you questioning everything you thought you knew. The whispers, the secrets, and the shocking revelations. We're about to expose the truth behind the Sussex scandal that's rocking the monarchy to its core. But whoa, slow down there, guys, before we pick up the pace. It's time to become an official member of the squad. Subscribe and ring the bell to stay in the loop and rock out with us. All right, let's get the party started. So, it's no secret that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been causing waves ever since they decided to step down from their senior royal roles. But what's been happening behind closed palace doors? Recent changes to the royal family website tell a tale that even the most daring soap opera couldn't match. Picture this, the Sussex biography is relegated to the bottom of the page, nestled beside names like the Duke of Kent and Prince Andrew. This is no mere coincidence, my friends. It's a glaring sign that the royal family is distancing themselves from the couple that seemed destined to rewrite history. The brand that Harry and Meghan sought to build is crumbling, eroding under the weight of their own decisions. Now here's where it gets juicy. Rumour has it that the late Queen Elizabeth may have had her hand in their departure. That's right, the Megxit whispers suggest that Meghan and Harry weren't stepping away, but might have been handed a pink slip by none other than Queen Elizabeth herself. But that's not all. Enter Duchess Sophie, the confidant who knows no secrets, who had the inside scoop on the Sussex scam to possibly pilfer all funds. While the Sussexes were busy plotting their post-royal life, Queen Elizabeth might have been quietly consulting Sophie, getting advice on how to handle the unruly duo. But Meghan and Harry had other plans, didn't they? They ventured into the realm of brand building, hoping to turn their loyal clout into cold hard cash. But let's be real, they wanted to cherry pick the glamorous parts of their royal job while skirting the responsibilities. You can't have your cake and eat it too. The royal constitution has e certain provisions, like not leveraging your position for personal gain or maintaining political neutrality. These rules exist to prevent corruption and power misuse, so when Meghan and Harry started to play fast and loose, they found themselves on the wrong side of the firing line. The firing, it's rumoured, came straight from the late Queen Elizabeth herself. That's why Meghan didn't seem to bat an eyelid when Prince Philip was ailing, and she was globetrotting with Oprah and the streaming giants. Their actions spoke volumes, and it was a good melody for the Montecito royals. Fast forward to the present, and it's becoming increasingly clear that the public sentiment is shifting. The Montecito brand is losing its luster as Spotify deals fade away and poll numbers plummet. It's a cautionary tale for those who dare to think the royals' rule can be bent for personal ambition. So what do you guys think about the news? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time for more royal news and analysis.